Welcome back to the weekly roundup. Today we're going to be talking about the games that came out this week, the VR gaming news, and of course what's coming out next week. There's a bunch of games on here, some it for everyone, but before we dive into that list, please do consider smashing that like button if you enjoy this video, of course, as it really does help this video get excelled into the YouTube algorithm. And hey, I appreciate that. Anyway, guys and girls, today we're going to dive in with our very first bit of stuff, which is what games came out this week. I'm going to kick this all off with Escape Simulator. Once upon a time, this game was just flat, but now it has had a free upgrade to virtual reality. So if you own a VR headset and this game already, well, this is going to be free to you. And now, of course, if you pick up this game, it's already going to have all the VR features unlocked for you. This is really cool because it's probably one of the most comprehensive escape room games, as it has so much to offer in it from things like portal escape rooms and even a bunch of other stuff as well, including user generated content. Now, I will give you a little heads up. Some of the user generated content is a little heavy and won't work well in virtual reality but even if you just go off of what's in the game itself there is a plethora of rooms to go and escape from and have some fun with your friends next up we had c smash drop on the quest platform this game is a really cool game honestly don't look over this one i think this is one of those sort of underrated games that you're going to kind of miss so i'm highlighting it for you right now so that you don't as it is an absolute banger of a game you get in there you're kind of playing sort of racquetball kind of but in the future very much in the future. Plus you get to go in there with a friend as well, you have a bunch of fun like emotes that you can do to each other and you have full body avatar things going on, which looks really, really fun when you're in there diving around, whacking the ball back and forth at each other. And of course playing all of the little mini games that are with it in this game. So definitely don't miss out on C Smash, it's a really cool one. Listen, as I always say, if you at least try this game, you can always just get a refund if you hate it. So, you know, give it a shot. And last up on releases today, we have Sky Climb. This game was actually a pretty cool game. I jumped in there, I can definitely see the appeal of it. You have a bunch of different sort of levels that you're gonna be trying to get through, uh, as well as sort of like a multiplayer mode as well that you can enjoy with some friends and you can challenge each other to sort of like, you know, beat your times and stuff and a full level generator within the game as well. So you can just build your own levels and have an absolute blast. Definitely think this one is aimed at the younger audience. So I think sort of the more mature players that are in this audience, I'm not sure it's gonna be for you, but nonetheless, it's a pretty cool game. I highly recommend you at least give it a pop. And if you're definitely in the younger generation, you're going to really, really enjoy this game. It's just colourful, fun and entertaining. And I think, you know, if you buy this, you're probably going to get your money's worth. So, cool game. Next, let's dive into the VR news. This is an exciting one. Contractor Showdown has finally got not only a release date, but also what the game is going to cost. Now, it's not a mystery. A lot of you know that I was already hoping this game was going to be a free-to-play game, just purely on the basis that I think it could have done even better for itself if it had been. But, truth be told, this game does speak for itself when you actually look at what this game is. It's an incredibly solid and comprehensive game. Sadly, not free-to-play. To play we do finally have a pricing for that though it is 14.99 in british pounds or 17.99 in american dollars so now you know what it's going to cost it's coming on the 25th of april and i can definitely confirm after a number of hours in this game it is worth every single penny i am sad that it's not free to play but of course you can't win every single battle and at the end of the day if you pay to get into this hopefully that means that the clientele of people that you're going to be fighting with are going to be people that you know give a damn they put money into the game hopefully that means less trolling less squeakers and a little bit more focused gameplay fingers crossed but nonetheless this game is coming on 25th i couldn't be more excited this is a must-have purchase in my opinion if you like shooters if you like battle royales if you like online domination then i think you're gonna absolutely need to be buying this game because it is gonna be a freaking banger next up one of my all-time favorite games ever after the fall has just released a brand new sort of sleeper update and this is a freaking surprise because i don't think anyone knew that this was coming uh, which makes it even more exciting but it does mean that if you weren't after the fall i would be firing up this weekend as there is a bunch of new content in there so what do we have in this frozen wasteland update we have three new horde maps to blast our way to victory destroying a hell of a bunch of snow breed because we love to do that and we also have a brand new weapon the hunting rifle this hunting rifle looks pretty freaking sick. I haven't actually had a chance to dive in and try this myself as it literally only dropped yesterday, but I'm telling you right now, my weekend is gonna be spent destroying some snow breed. I'm really excited for this. I love this game. I have put in way too many hours. 
in virtual reality in this game so it's definitely time and if you haven't picked up this game in the past if you've never played it before oh my goodness please pick this up it is like the left for dead of vr but better so definitely check this one out keep it on your radar if you haven't pulled it already and if you have well this is a great free upgrade to go and enjoy your weekend doing something that will cost you no money next up my all-time favorite rhythm game has just had a brand new update bring in some absolute freaking banger tracks in the brand new hard rock legends update dlc this is a banger of an update covering a bunch of tracks that i've been absolutely desperate for to be in this game so i'm really excited if you've never played this game before smash drums is the ultimate rhythm game in my mind you get to go in there feel like an actual drummer smash the living heck out of those drums and have a hell of a workout while doing it not only that but there's some cool modes in this as well like the mr mode that's going to keep you locked in if you're on quest 3 as you get to do some really cool stuff i'm not going to spoil it but definitely be checking out this game if you haven't already go get it on the quest store it's a freaking banger there's a ton of awesome music if you're more into sort of alternative metal or just anything with a banging beat then you're going to really really enjoy this plus if you're just fed up with whacking stuff with lightsabers you know beat saber then uh this is the one to pick up. Coming next week. Well, next week is actually kind of a quiet week, sadly, but we do have a couple of games coming our way, starting off with Toy Monsters. This is a brand new mixed reality game that sees you fighting your way through hordes of monsters. But the way that this is done is slightly different. This is in mixed reality and you have like a plethora of toys from your toy box to be able to use to sort of do a, a sort of tower defense sort of situation. You also get to use some cool things like powers from your own hands. It's all done through hand tracking as well. And it's a pretty cool game. I have had a little blast on this. I highly recommend that you check this one out if you're into mixed reality games. Uh, definitely a slower game let's be honest but nonetheless pretty cool i'll give you a bit more of a comprehensive overlook of this next week in my video as i wrap up the games that come out next week but for now just know that this one's quite interesting if you're into mixed reality stuff i think you're going to enjoy this one next up it's finally time for mixture to come over to psvr 2 and pc vr this is a really cool title if you like your platformers so if you've just finished max mustard and you're like dang i need me another platformer in virtual reality well then mixture has got you bro this is actually a really cool title that does it slightly differently to other platformers. It's pretty exciting, and honestly, I have nothing but good stuff to say about this. It's a very fun game from start to finish, and if you like your platformers, you're going to enjoy this one. So, pick it up and enjoy it. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much do us for the VR news of what's happened this week with the gaming. Definitely a bit of a slower one, but nonetheless some pretty cool stuff. I will say I think the VR news section was probably the most exciting for me this week as we had Smash Drums bring their brand new release. Excellent for them. After the fall, which I couldn't be more excited about. And of course, that contract is news. It's a win-win-win situation. If you are looking for something to do this weekend, don't forget those free upgrades that you've got coming out. Also, if you are looking for something to pick up, then I highly recommend something like Smash Drums or After the Fall. They are great games that are going to keep you entertained and really not just entertained, they're worth the money because you're going to get the hourage back out of them. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, please do smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you next week as I have some pretty cool videos coming up, actually. I've been working on them for a little while and I think you guys are going to enjoy them. Smash like, subscribe if you want to see those, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.